Hi guys, M Tech Pro is here. A big camera upgrade may come to the iPhone 16 courtesy of Samsung. The Korean news outlet, the ELEC, reported that Apple is undertaking the final quality verification process for the CMOS image sensors, supplied by Samsung System LSI, for the main camera of the upcoming iPhone 16 series. That represents an evident change of direction for Apple, which generally uses Sony for its camera sensors. However, this report says the company is turning its back on the Japanese supplier over concerns about reliability and the need to add more advanced technology into the iPhone camera system. The ELEC also adds that Apple asked Sony to develop new image sensors last year, only for Sony reportedly to drop the ball and fail to deliver them in a timely fashion. Apparently, that one thing caused issues when Apple was trying to set a launch date for the iPhone 15. Assuming Samsung sensors can live up to Apple's infamously high standards, that would mean Sony is on the way out. The ELEC claims that the new Samsung sensor will be far more sophisticated, using a three-wafer stack configuration where each wafer has different elements photodiode, transistor, and analog-digital converter logics. For example, current iPhone camera sensors use a two-wafer stack where photodiode and transistors are on one. Separating the same, however, provides better photo quality overall, with higher pixel density, reduced noise, and smaller pixel size. Besides, the technology from Samsung is set to adopt wafer-to-wafer -wafer bonding, attaching the three wafers to some copper pad. That reportedly eliminates the need for signal transferring bumps, and enables higher data transfer speeds with a smaller image sensor. The iPhone 16 will reportedly also get a resolution bump this year, borrowing the same 48-megapixel camera as the iPhone 15 Pro. It is also said that the actual sensor will be larger, 2 in at 1.14 inches, which should give way to brighter, more colorful images. The iPhone 16 Pro will also boast a higher resolution 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, though the non-pro models are set to leave this lens at 12 megapixel for another year. Meanwhile, the iPhone 16 Pro could also support a tetraprism telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom, and all four models are set to offer spatial video recording for the Apple Vision Pro headset. The iPhone 16 series is likely to launch this fall during an Apple September event. Until then, you can keep up with all the latest news and rumors in our iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro, and iPhone 16 Pro Max hubs. Thanks for watching, see you in another video.